There are worlds out there where the sky is burning, where the seas asleep and the rivers dream. People made of smoke and cities made of song. Some of there's danger, some of there's injustice, and somewhere else the tea is getting cold. Come on, Ace. We've got work to do. One day I shall come back. Are we rolling? Yes, I shall come back. Hi guys, welcome to another video. I know you've not seen me for a long time, but I am back, and I am back with a cyber head. Excellent. Um, just bought this from the Who shop for a few hundred pounds. Uh, four, I believe. Four hundred pounds. Um, it is pretty awesome. Um, there is a back piece for it, but that's not on because then it would just be stuck on my head and I wouldn't be able to get it off. Comes with these little bits here that you can plug into your chest. Um, I need to get the rest of the suit at some point. And I'll have a fully grown Cyberman in my room, but for now it will reside in my glass cabinet. I hope you enjoy the review. See you soon. Bye. Eradicate them. Hi guys, welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new um, Ace action figure um, from Character Options. Uh, just got back from London actually and picked this one up in the Who shop um, in Upton Park. I believe on Forbidden Planet's website it's still due for delivery or whatever on September 30th or something like that. So I was quite happy to see that they had it in stock. They had about six or seven. Um, so I picked one up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with this review. Um, if I just get her to stand up by herself. And as you can probably see, I bought some more things from the Who shop. Um, I bought a Cyberman bust, second Doctor statue, some talking Daleks. Um, the Toys R Us exclusive sets were also sold in the Who shop along with um, some other bits which I've already actually had for a while but thought that would look good in this video so without further ado I shall be reviewing Ace so the first thing to really talk about on this figure is the attention to detail um, in all the different um, badges and whatnot on her jacket um, there is an awful lot of detailing I think which is superb um, if we just start off with her head, the head sculpt um, is pretty good. I'm not overly keen on the hairstyle from the front because it looks like she's kind of got very short brown hair. But obviously, turning the figure around, you can see her very nice uh, ponytail there, which is free to move, which is quite nice with a little yellow hair bubble. Um, I think it kind of does look like Ace. In some aspects and in other aspects possibly not um, this is not the best head sculpt we've ever seen for a figure but I mean I think with the detailing of the jacket and the rest of the figure you kind of get the idea of who this figure is supposed to be um, probably the most iconic part of this figure is the ace sign on her jacket um, which is really, really cool and highly detailed the uh, badges are great, as you can see up there is the Blue Peter badge um, that she's wearing, which is rather cool, a nice touch, I'm glad they put that on there. And all her various different um, stickers. I don't know if they're exactly screen accurate, I'm sure they're probably not, but you know, you do get the general idea. Articulation, the arms do a 360. Um, they are in fact ball jointed, which is quite nice. Um, she has her little black kind of skirt on with her black tights and boots. I will say, as with most um, figures in the line, well, female figures anyway, difficult to stand up sometimes because they are top heavy. Uh, the legs are only skinny and the feet are only small, but a little bit of blue tack will uh, soon sort that. Now, another good thing about this figure is the fact that it comes with so many accessories. Um, as you can see, they're all lying down there on the floor. Um, I will show you uh, each individual item and then I will show you her interchangeable arms. So the first thing to note is it comes, well the figure comes with her backpack um, which is a really nice accessory. Um, I know DePole did a figure of Ace and it was 
back in the day not very good. It came with a rucksack and a baseball bat. Um, but this figure obviously comes with that and a lot more. The best way to put on her rucksack is to put her arms back like this and try and get both her hands tucked through at the same time. It isn't overly difficult, but, you know, it does look fantastic when it's on. If I just show you that now, it is on her back and it does look rather nice. Of course, now she's very top heavy, but doesn't seem to be a problem. She still stands up really well, which is nice. Um, so let's just stand her there. Now, we've also got the rocket launcher. Um, which is a really nice addition um, and it even comes with a rocket which you can attach to the end of it like so and I'm sure she's actually a hand sculpt is kind of sculpted to hold the gun um, which is really nice and if we just pop it in there and uh, you know you get the idea she can kind of shoot at the Daleks uh, like she did in the episode um, so it's a really, really nice touch that they've included that as an accessory. And of course, the fact that the rocket actually, whoops, the rocket comes off um, is just really, really cool. Uh huh. Um, also included, um, which is probably the most iconic part of the accessories, is the baseball bat. Um, which again, fits really, really well into her hand. I think character options have done really well with this figure to make sure that she can actually hold all the different um, accessories that she comes with, which is nice. So there she is with the baseball bat, ready to smash out the Dalek's eye stalk, uh, um, which is pretty cool. The detailing on the baseball bat, as you can see, is quite simple, but very, very effective. And finally, we come to the canisters of Nitro 9. There are a total of three canisters. Oops, a daisy. If I just uh, if I just get Ace to stand up here, and now there are two different types of canister. You've got these two canisters here without the head on, and then you've got the one with the head or the exploding Nitro Nine coming out of it, which is really really cool. Um, so again, nice addition to this feature. Uh, to this figure, sorry, and of course she does hold the Nitro 9 cans quite well. You just have to squeeze them into whichever hand you wanted to hold them in. Ideally this hand so she can hold a baseball bat as well. As you well, you can get to hold them. <laughs> so this figure retails at about $15.99. The Who Shop are selling it for £20. I know it's a bit more expensive, but they've got to make their money somehow, and um, that's obviously how they make it. Um, the last part of this review is the interchangeable arms. As you can see, um, <laughs> they're quite highly detailed. There's even a watch on this hand, or this wrist, which is nice. So I'm now going to show you how to put these on. So if we take the rucksack off, we will now find out if the jacket is removable, which is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, having a little bit of trouble getting the rucksack off without scratching any of the paintwork. So, rucksack is off. Now, arms. Really, you've just got to... It's a bit like the Joe Grant figure. you just got to pop it out of the uh, hole that it's in. That's it. Like that. And then, again, the same arm like so, and now she's armless, and the jacket does come off, which is really, really good, I'm glad it does, and then uh, you can pop her hands in, making sure that you pop them into the right side of her. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this too often, because the, the holes will um, wear out. I know from it, from a um, Doing this in the past, the first time you do it, it's pretty stiff, so you've got to really push it in, so just bear with me while I do that. Okay, and there we go. Um, there is a lot of um, loose paint that comes off when you do so, when you put the arms on. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much about that as it's kind of, well, one of those things really, and it doesn't make much difference. 
Her arms do look a little bit skinny like this, but uh, you know, doesn't really detract from the figure too much. The detailing on her t-shirt is really really cool. I think that's awesome. Obviously, she's just got the plain t-shirt at the back. From behind, she kind of doesn't look like she could be ace. Um, but obviously, the front, she looks really really good. So, I'm really quite impressed with this figure. You can, if you want, I expect, put her jacket back on again when she's got her short sleeves on. Although, to be honest, the whole idea of it really is the jacket is a, a long sleeve jacket. So, you might not want to do that. It might look a bit silly. So, overall, I would give this figure an 8.5 out of 10. I would have given it a 9 if she stood up. <laughs> But you know, it's not too bad. Um, it's just great that it comes with a plethora of accessories, as you can see, scattered around on the floor. There are just loads of them. And of course, um, if you want to display her next to her seventh doctor, maybe you want to put her arm around the doctor like that, or maybe have her in front because the doctor's. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Because the doctor's slightly bigger than her, you can uh, display them like that, and they do look rather good, apart from Sylvester McCoy's silly grinning face. And uh, there's the Dalek that she destroyed. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? Pretty good. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be plenty more reviews coming soon, and uh, yeah, bye for now.